Are you a fan of white lights? Today we're going to see a great pair of LED bulbs from MIG Tuning and they're going to transform the headlights that you have on your current existing car into super bright white lights. Welcome back to our tech. These are an amazing pair of LED headlamps and I picked them up from Amazon.com for about $50 or about uh, 4,000 bucks Indian rupees. They come in a simple box like this. I like the way this whole uh, color concept uh, MIG tuning has used. It's got this purple tinge on the LED lamps, simple black box and uh, nothing much is mentioned uh, on the sides. Just that you know they have some branding stuff. And I've chosen the H4 version of the lamp, which is about 40 watts per bulb. And some of the uh, good things about this particular bulb is that, you know, you don't have to do a lot of playing around with your wiring because these are just plug and play and they'll just fit it right in your existing sockets. Let's go through some of the specs of this bulb. Uh, 6000K is the color temperature, so it's crystal clear white. They're going to be guaranteed for two years by the company. It's non-fading for 50,000 hours. It's got a built-in fan to keep the bulb cool and long-lasting. Like I told you, there's no capacitor, no relay work that you need to do. So it just replaces your existing bulb as a normal one. So as easy as it gets. It's also got an error corrector and uh, let's open the box and find out what is included inside. So I like the way they've used this uh, nice purple color for the bulb material you also see two additional filters which can help you use them as fog lamps just in case the the headlamps themselves don't have glass on it so you can use this additional plastic which which has got a three three thousand k temperature filter so that it gives you the orange lighting in case you want to use it in that color uh, these are the relays which are plug and play, very small and uh, they are just connected directly to the headlamp bulb. Uh, they are detachable of course. So like I told you there is no glass, you can straight away look directly into the LED and that's all it has in case you are using it for the without the filter. It's got a nice heat sink at the back with the fan, it's supposed to be IP67 rated so you know you shouldn't have a problem even if water gets into any of these things so that's the 40 watt EMC power converter and you can see the H4 connectivity there the socket will plug in directly to your power supply unit for your headlamp in your car very beautifully finished bulb and that's the screw which you get in case you want to put the filter you put the uh, filter cap on inside and then once that's in you can put in those screws to hold them together I'm not going to do that now just want to show you build quality is really top top notch I should say and they they use that this bulb actually uses Cree LED uh, modules so I shouldn't think there's a problem they've also given some silicone uh, washers in case you want to put the filters on but you can just plug this in directly to your into your car and it should start working so um, you can see those two LED modules from Cree there one is of course the low beam and one is the high beam Big Tuning calls it the Luma technology so let's get to the car right now. So we're all set to fix this. So I have a really old car. Uh, it's a Hyundai Getz uh, 2008 model. It's about 10 years old. So when you're handling um, halogen bulbs, just ensure that you, you're wearing some sort of protection in case uh, these explode. They're actually pretty harmful to your eyes and your skin and you're, you're gonna hurt yourself. So just make sure that you know what you're doing in case you don't, you can always take it to a local garage and they'll do it for you. So most of the existing car headlights have this small plastic cover at the back. 
Uh, mine were modified to include a relay, so I had to do some changes, but you can still see some of the wires popping out, but um, it's still the same standard setup. It still has the ceramic plug, so I can use it directly with this one. So once you pull out the socket, you know, just make sure that you get the halogen bulb out safely. I'm just going to show you guys a quick test. I'm just going to plug it right away without putting it into the headlamp unit. I just want to see how it lights up. I'm really curious. <laughs> it. I'm just going to place it on the fuse box and like I told you, it just plugs in directly into your existing power source for the headlight, headlight bulb. So let's go ahead and push this in. Okay, I'm going to crank up the engine. There you go. I'm just using the flasher right now and you can see that it's it's got this brilliant white light. I don't know if my camera is going to pick up pick up whatever it's actually throwing at it. Okay. That is extremely white. I'm hoping that's as bright as it is inside the headlight unit at night. So I'm just knocking off my old halogen bulb, which is still in good condition. This is a Philips 100 by 90. So the power consumption as well should go down once you replace new head LED headlamps inside these headlight units. Because the old one, you should consume up to 90 watts of power at least and 100 watts on high beam. So this should be much lower. Okay, now I've, I've taken off the headlamp just to make it easier for me to fix this. I've just kept it here. So you have this clip. I'm going to put this inside the head, headlight unit assembly. Okay, that's it. The clip is on. All you need to do now is just connect the LED driver to the power supply and the other end to the bulb. Okay, the park lamps that I'm using are still yellow, so you still see the yellow tinge there, but the lights are actually white. And that's high beam and the low beam flashing there. It makes a very, very big difference. If you look at the original, Park lamp bulb that's actually the yellow, and you can actually hear the fan buzzing at the back of the headlight. That's always on if your headlight is on. Just trying to see if I can give you a closer look. So, this headlight is in pretty bad condition, but so there it is. Let me show you another view. So the, the headlight on the left is actually the halogen bulb. It's got that slight yellow color. I would say it's about 4000 K probably temperature color. And this one on the right is about 6000 and it's pure crystal white. This gives you a clear indication of what color the light is on the wall and it's actually about 4 p.m. I can still see the light on the wall the headlights need to be calibrated but uh, you saw the color there on the wall that's that gives you a good idea of what the color of the light is I've now replaced all the lights with the LEDs and now it's about half past six I'm eager to actually put these on so here you go. Now that is a really powerful beam of white light. One of the things I like about this beam of light is that you know it's not dispersing so much like a HID bulb would do. They're just perfectly cut off at an angle which wouldn't disturb oncoming traffic. The high beam of course is a little higher. The high beam of course will give you a bigger beam but 
you know it has its own uses okay so that's so bright the light is yes yeah that's that's a really good throw Headlight on the right needs a little bit of adjustment, but uh, for the most part, it's pretty good. Yeah, it, it doesn't look like it's actually uh, falling on someone's face when you first look at it. It's, it's really focused. Now, there's a lot of street light here, there's a lot of light in the background. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can. Trying to see if I can go to a place where it is uh, darker. So, in some places the street lights are the same color as the yeah, headlight. You can barely see the headlight right now. And that's why you think there's a problem with the Probably because of my alignment issues. But I must say, I love the color of the light. Just incredibly easy to see and spot things on the road. Okay, I found this corner which is not illuminated, and it does give a decent amount of light. So I'm going to try and take the car to a non-illuminated region of the road if I can. So taking a small U-turn here. Okay, this section of the road doesn't have a lot of light. And you can still see there's a good throw of light on the road. Okay, the high beam is really exceptionally good. Uh, the low beam is okay. I still think it needs a little bit of calibration. So there you go. Okay, I have recalibrated the lights and now uh, things have changed slightly. Now you can see there's a much better spread from the right headlamp and the lights are really, really good. I'm going through some of the smaller roads so that I can test these on some darker stretches. So once you take your car to a stretch which is not well lit, you can see that these lights do an exceptional job lighting up the whole road, every bit of it. Uh, what I really like is the high beam. It kind of looks like when you, when you put the high beam on, uh, both the LEDs and the bulb actually glow so that gives you that extra bit of light. And you can actually see the road better, not just something in front. So um, I love the way the high, high beam works uh, in this particular bulb. So, some of the benefits of putting the LED he headlight on other than the light color, the looks of it, I would say some of the benefit lies with uh, saving your battery as well. This consumes just about half, almost half of the power of what the halogen bulb is actually so I definitely recommend these bulbs to anybody who has a car which has um, halogen bulbs. You have make tuning making these bulbs in different options, H4, H7, H9, H1, H13, uh, HP3 and HP4. So if you do have one of these sockets in your car and you're running a halogen bulb, I would definitely recommend you know picking these up and replacing your bulbs. They don't just give you better quality of light. They also save your battery and uh, they also kind of give a new lease of life to your car headlights. So they don't get hot 
again it's it's really nice to see that you know you're going to save your battery you're going to get some good lighting and they also look good because you have that crystal white light on the road that that was our review for the mic tuning luma plus h4 headlight set and conversion kit i had fun doing this you can do it at home if you put a little bit of thought to it if you can't you can just use a mechanic uh, we hope you like the video please give us a thumbs up if you do and uh, we hope you subscribe to our channel thank you so much for watching see you next time